Hiya then folks, welcome to episode 10. It's me, the tight Yorkshireman, here with nuts and volts, the poor man's electric bow. I think a few episodes ago, I introduced the video by saying it was quite a short and sweet video, because we got the boat working and we were just showing the motor spinning. I think this video is going to be short and maybe a little bit sour, because obviously if you were watching last time, you would have seen we had a few problems and some it went bang. So this one we're just going to have a quick look at why it went bang and what we're going to do to make sure it doesn't do it again. So let's go and have a look on the boat and see what we've been up to. So here we are then, back in the boat itself. And as you can see, I've got in my hand a control unit. This is the one that was fitted originally and this is the one that's now not working. And as you can see, if I take the top off and move that in towards the camera, I don't know, can you see that close enough there, Dawn? Oh yes, it's not looking good. <laughs> no, it's not looking good indeed. We can see, obviously, it's burned the corner of the circuit board out there. And along with that, the throttle as well, if we turn the throttle on and press the button, the unit no longer actually recognises that the throttle's there, which means that we've burnt the throttle out and the control unit. Now as it happens, when I put the last vlog on, which showed the thing going bang, a chap called Trevor messaged to say he reckoned that we got the wrong type of throttle fitted. This is what's known as a Hall Effect throttle, and what we should have is a potentiometer type throttle. I'm not going to too much details about the difference between the two for two reasons. One, I don't really understand them myself and two, I'm guessing anybody watching, if you know the difference you already know it and if you don't know the difference you're probably not really that bothered about what the difference between the two of them is anyway. But suffice to say it does appear that this is what's caused all the issues. So what we're going to have to do is get one of these potentiometer type throttles and obviously we've got a new one of these that we'll have a look at now. Here we are then, down with the new control unit, the tight Yorkshireman had to buy. Been spending money all the time this week. Dawn, you're definitely not having any new Timberlands this week. Can't even afford any flip-flops. Too right. Barefoot is the future. But yeah, so this is the new unit that we bought. We thought we bought exactly the same unit as the old one. But as it turns out, the top of it is slightly different. And when we've come and wired it all in, we found that although these are 24 and 48 volt units, this one's currently set to 24 volt, which you'd think it'd be dead easy to change over. Just flick a switch, something like that. But now, to change it to 48 volt, we need to get a Sevcom engineer who can come and reprogram it. So we've had a little think on that idea and what we're going to try doing, at least to start with, see how it goes, is we're going to run it as a 24 volt system. So obviously it just means reconfiguring the batteries a little bit so that they're in sort of banks of two rather than banks of four, so that's giving the 24 volt. And that should still run the motor, obviously the difference that we've got to see is how much difference it makes as it's still got the power, as it's still got the speed etc things like that what we have sort of found is that it might in fact actually work better because we're not trying to push the motor so hard using the 48 volts as we will be with the 24 volts so in, in a way it's kind of its own little experiment as to see whether running the 24 volt is going to work better and more efficient than the 48 volt or whether we will have to bite the bullet and get this reprogrammed but at least, fingers crossed, it's going to get us mobile again. There we go then, as you can see. We have made a few changes on the boat and we are continuing to tweak the system a little bit. You probably noticed we moved the control panel off kind of the, the back wall onto the side. Um, that's just to help with that kind of heat sink and what have you. And obviously in general, the whole system does need a good tidy up. I mean, obviously we've still got all the switches and things to move around and get in the right sort of places. We have obviously just been running it kind of as they came so that we could see how it was all working. 
but now the system is kind of coming together. We do obviously want to start tidying everything up anyway. So we're, we're making changes as we go. And we've ordered some new stuff that we need. Again, some new switches, the new potentiometer, things like that. So they're all due to arrive in the next week or so, when hopefully we'll be able to carry on, get the boat working again. In between times as well, there's other little things that we're going to have to do because obviously it looks like we're now going to try running it as a 24 volt system. We are going to have to swap those batteries around and get them redone because obviously at the minute they're in the banks of four running in series which gives the 48 volts. We kind of now need to split each one of those down into two banks of two to give it the 24 volts as opposed to the 48 volt. And obviously we're going to have to also then look at things like the chargers as well, because obviously they were 48 volt chargers. So there's a few bits that we're going to have to be looking at over the next week or so, just to, like I say, fingers crossed, get the boat moving again. Has been quite a short vlog this one, and there's not been any interesting stuff in it really. Certainly no A-team stuff or anything like that. But it's obviously keeping up to date with what we are doing and what had gone wrong, and the most important bit, what we're doing to put it right. Obviously if you've got any comments, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Any ideas that you've got, anything that you've seen that you, you think we could either improve on or change. And likewise, if you want to give us a big pat on the back, that would be great too. If you've enjoyed watching it, like the video. And also subscribe to the channel. And ding the little bell that's next to the word subscribe when you go on there to subscribe. It is free to subscribe. And subscribing and dinging the little bell means that each time we do put a video on you do get a notification to say that we've updated the vlogs and there's something new to watch but in between times i'm the tight yorkshireman here with the pulling up some vaults that we're going to get mended and we're going to carry on winging it although at the minute we can't do so much winging it as actual thinking and doing proper stuff but likewise we're going to carry on winging it and we'll see you all soon. I found myself drifting along through the burning sun and the pouring rain. I had to grind some sludge, mug of tea in my hand. the